apart from him, there, there are other people that make very silly comments. It's, it's and you know, you can be a critic, you can be a conspiracy theorist. No, w- nobody whatever cares. you want to do, but don't attack people's personalities. Absolutely not. And apart from you, yeah, uh, let's say we we all criticize politicians when they are going wayward and all that. You can you can talk about it. But the person's personal life, dragging their family, yeah, yes, dragging things that that have happened in the past. Some people are even very innocent. The fact that oh, so let's take for instance, Blacko is doing well. What what can I say about Blacko? Eh, and he, even he's you, not. Do, 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 <laughs> he, people people's have, careers have gone down the drain because of exactly. some of these uh, social media commentators. Bullies. Yeah, and, not not just careers, personal life, and people other, have stayed on have social media. Committed suicide. Exactly. I read suicide. A, yeah, I, I wanted. Welcome again, guys, to your favorite podcast in the whole wide world is the FNF Catchy Dialogues. In the whole world. We are here again. And then today we are discussing... Um, social media. This social one, media. That's one that we are on right now. Charlie, the things going <laughs> on on social media. <laughs> it's... Uh, I don't know if it's helped us having social media or not. Because Twitter is now... All about pornography. It's it's literally mini porn hub. <laughs> <I don't, laughs> it's it's crazy. I don't know if there are no regulations because I I didn't know X X will get to. You know when it changed from Twitter, Twitter to, to X, X Charlie the the, the X, X no Charlie X, <laughs> what X why anything like X. you know I I opened a page for uh, uh, FNF podcast on yeah. X. And then within two days, I've received messages from <laughs> OnlyFans <laughs> actresses. So I've blocked all of them. I reported them even because you are fl- you are flooding people's yeah DMs with pornographic links and all that. And 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 on the on the other side, you've got um, people who have come to chase clouds like Charlie. Charlie. Just say and anything. It's like post there, there, anything. Are, there are no regulations, and people are very careless with social media now. You know, I, I most of us, you, you were on social media <laughs> a, lot, yeah. a lot earlier, and then you sort of retired. But <laughs> we have to reignite your your powers. You know, thing is, I'm still on social media, but I'm more like a sleeper agent. You know, yeah. you won't see me post. Are stuff. you are you part of the comment readers association? More like hey, it now. Charlie. Made Chai Russian spy. Cause thing is, <laughs> I don't post stuff, but I know everything going on. Yeah, like it's it's good, it's good to keep you informed. Yeah. Like Charlie, you have to know what's going on. Hospitals, institutions, governments all have social media accounts, right? Yeah. Just to because we are in, on uh, in the information era. Era people say, and then. Everything is online, like information. Hardly would people sit behind television sets. Mm-hmm. Going on social media is, is is the way forward now. But I think things are worsening. There's no moderation with regards to the content on social media, especially with regards to the young ones coming. Yeah, Charlie, it's it's crazy. It's scary. If we see the things these children are watching on their phones, and the and things <laughs> they are even posting, you are, you are concerned about the things that. Are, I swear. The things I they are s- posting, I bro. I swear. Bro. I swear. You sometimes wonder if did it come to do us good or harm us? I mean, no, no, no disrespect to the good side because huge. Oh, yeah. Huge, yeah. Huge what we are doing potential. is social media. Exactly. Charlie, Trying to educate is... people and stuff like that. Yeah. Great. Great, great, great. So, to, to mention, to yeah. mention a few of the advantages, like the, the, the things yeah. that people could actually benefit to uh the old folks yeah. the 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 young ones like us and the very young ones who are coming i think financially this is where people have retired from nine to five jobs and yeah yeah doing social media full time content creation yeah full time yeah and before before we, we proceed would you would you retire and do content creation full time it, it depends on how how it goes but <laughs> do you know if you can 
live the kind of life you want. If I can live the kind of life I want, yeah. doing content, that's fine. I'm I'm obviously new to content creation. I never thought that I'll get into this space. Yeah. So as we grow, we evolve. We doing greater things, doing bigger things. We are imparting people, and it's changing lives. At the end of the day, we are achieving our dreams through this platform. Why not? Why not, Charlie? No, nobody wants to. Uh, we are doing a great job through <laughs> service to mankind, nursing, but sometimes you've got to think yeah. about... No, Nobody wants to be an employee You, 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 you get it. Yeah. 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 As, as long as we are employees, we'll do our best. Do you know what? But... <laughs> I, I think for most people, right, one thing nice about content creation and these social media work is that for about, I would say, 90% of the people doing this love it. Absolutely. Apart from the fact that it, uh, it's money, they, they have fun doing it. Like when we, we come and sit here, just effortless, this we are having conversations. Yeah. But you feel like when, when we talk, that kind of vibe, people, you, you want to bring that into people's homes so people feel that kind of energy. That is it. So there's no stress in it. You are happy doing the thing that will earn you money. Yeah. That is a beautiful part of it. You don't have to go and stress so much. We can decide not to post content and nobody will arrest us, yeah. isn't it? And I think one thing that um, a lot of people don't realize is that opportunity to network and oh, establish yeah. relationships yeah. online. I think before starting this yeah. platform, apart from the fact that we want to en educate, entertain people, mm -hmm. it's ab and, and something in the long run, which yeah. is not the optimum goal now, it was mostly about networking. Yeah. Getting the opportunity to meet other creators, getting to meet people like other people. Charlie, relationship is currency, like we said in our previous e exactly. episode. Like so meeting other um people within the space you you want to enter, you want to penetrate. That is one of the beautiful things. Yeah. About. And we, we literally got this whole idea and inspiration from social media. Exactly. We were watching other people, seeing yeah. what they're doing. Yeah. And you remember back in 2019 i think before we started this whole thing you remember this whole idea of traveling to oh yeah the UK from a post i saw on facebook a post on facebook <laughs> yeah so you see yeah, it's true. it yeah. started on facebook yeah. people go to facebook to post pictures and other things do random stuff Shall they it? don't yeah. care but our right where we are now started like, oh, from true. facebook 20 oh, people met their wives on uh, on yeah? social media <laughs> exactly yeah. so yeah social media is immense yeah. i for example i am on linkedin a lot mm. because i go to linkedin most of the time to have a look at to sort of for networking and also to draw inspiration from people who are in some position when you see the profile you see of, their profile oh and then you're able word. to yeah um one thing i do is i always go to their work and school history see the things they have done the positions they've worked mm. in the courses they have done and it kind of it kind of informs me yeah. on the things I can also do, do because you're literally looking at their footprint. Okay, yeah. you did this, did that, did that. Yeah. This person did that, did that. Okay, yeah. they, they have yeah. this in common. Exactly. Uh, then you, so you if get you want it. to go into that space, exactly. then follow this, their footsteps. You know, and yeah. this is all social networking, social yeah, media. People yeah. have started businesses and are yeah. doing well through social media. Do you know, I, tried, I never knew until I, I think um, recently I was watching... There was this lady that was trending in Ghana, right? Yeah. She's a TikToker. She sells on TikTok. And she hosted a very big program with all these yeah. uh, brands. And the number of people, people. Charlie, Charlie, it's not <laughs> easy. And so I went online. I, I wanted to go and see what she's doing actually on TikTok and watch other people as well doing mm -hmm. the same thing. And on, on live TikTok video, they put the hand dresses or the things they want to sell. Okay, so I've got this and it's going for this. And people are paying like there and no. there. They're, oh my God. It's beautiful. Charlie, Charlie. It's, like, it's beautiful. The one who the brought the concept of social media. God bless that person. Yeah. But the users of social media, <laughs> some of you. That Exactly. That brings us to cyberbullying, bro. Cyberbullying. Yeah. We, it's, it's, it's terrible. Do you know, I think some people, right, apart from the fact that I'll say ignorance of the effects of some of these things that yeah. they do, I think they don't have conscience. No, but it's, 
how would you put someone on there as your topic of discussion and ridicule the person i don't know you you have to have empathy because you you don't put someone there on on your platform or you just post this person and show the person there's this guy you know him yes apart from him there, there are other people that make very silly comments it's it, and you know you can be a critique you can be a conspiracy theorist no wh- nobody whatever cares. you want to do but don't attack people's personalities absolutely not and apart from you uh, let's say we we all criticize politicians when they are going wayward and all that you can you can talk about it but the person's personal life dragging their family yeah yes dragging things that that have happened in the past some people are even very innocent the fact that oh so let's take for instance blacko is doing well what what can i say about blacko eh, and even he's you, not do, 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 <laughs> ha, people people's have, careers have gone down the drain because of exactly some of these, uh, social media commentators Bullies. yeah and, not not just careers personal life and people other, have stayed on social media committed suicide exactly. i read suicide a, yeah I, I want to i want to remember the story but i can't there was this guy that committed suicide wrote a note because of comments that were coming from people and and one was even a false accusations a lady accused him falsely and posted it on social media that the guy raped her and that was it i remember that story charlie why, Somet- why would people do that sometimes people you just post your picture and someone will come and look at his head look, look at but where where quality where stop wearing bamboo charlie? and buy original you you, you can't <laughs> like, you, you can't buy some for the person so and are you wiser than the person who produced that material? They know that not every, everybody can afford. Afford? Exactly. Yeah. We all can't wear branded clothes. We all can't wear branded shoes and bags and all that. We all try Charlie, to live within Charlie. our means. So why then is the issue of social um, cyberbullying now on the rise? Is it because of cloud chasing? Do you I'm, think I'm people sure. just want to gain want to, do you know, fame said, for doing said, the, 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 the wrong thing? They things. say they say that negativity sells, right? So if I post something negative, like okay, tomorrow I post Mashal is a rapist. I have no evidence. Yeah. Do you know I'll amass the numbers because everybody wants to come and say, hey, so is he actually doing this? When the you issue know, of Sarkodia and Yvonne. See see the numbers. And later, some of these people will come and apologize, especially when they have no evidence. They'll come and apologize. Oh, it was just a joke. They, they DM the people in the background. They'll yeah. insult you publicly and then send you a personal a, a direct message that, oh, I'm, I'm very sorry. You know, it's all part of this business. What, 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 what do you mean? What the flip <laughs> is that? <laughs> what do you mean? It's, 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 it's actually... It's, and it's they, they have nothing. Like they are broke, like myself. You hey, go attack. You say you broke. Oh, I'm broke, Charlie. You broke. I'm broke. I've never wore anything branded before. I'm I'm brandless. I and hey guys, you know <laughs> how much his ring his ring like this. Oh you God. know how much it costs. God so, will judge you. But I mean, but, seriously but it, though, it, yeah. you know, all the fingers are not the same, right? So you, I I would say criticize. Yeah, but Fair. don't like I've wore this person has wore this, so that should be the center of attention. You ridicule yeah. the person to the extent that the person doesn't even feel like coming out again. The person doesn't want to post online. If the person has got something to impart generations, you kill the person's spirit, and the person doesn't yeah. want to get out of his shel- uh, um, his or her shelves or do anything that he or she loves. Why would you do that? And, and aside cyberbullying, do you know? Another set of people who annoy me, no. the scammers. Charlie. You see, there's a trend lately that you know sometimes where um people come and post their say results or yeah. their school fees, yeah. genuinely asking for help, and people would you know kind of yeah. crowdfunding and yeah. you know now you can't really trust when someone actually comes on social media to because well, scammers is it not <laughs> ah, who. Who told me that someone was soliciting fans using his name? That wow! I swear, I one of our friends, not like our, our close circle. Someone, someone 
The person yeah, when anyone is using mine, it's not me. <laughs> no, or, you, and you know, listen, and the thing no, is, you know, know, wait, wait. Yeah. Listen, eh? it's so that the person is saying, I'm Marshall or I'm Fifi, so send me this money. The person said, so I'm, I'm the scammer, right? I said, so Fifi is my brother and he's seriously sick. He's in Kolebu, he has a kidney problem, so please help us raise funds for him with your picture. Wow. I, sorry. It's scary, <laughs> bro. It's scary. We we can't stop it, right? But it's just I think you can only advise the person who's not yet into it and the person who is in it ignorantly. That yeah, exactly. There are, there are so many laws against some of these things. You yeah. can channel it for good. There are so many things you can do to so, generate good. People money. are getting jobs on social media. People are starting businesses and doing very well. People are making money on there. People are building their careers. Yeah, so they are also scammers are also are... making money on there. <laughs> you know, so uh, X is paying money, right? If yeah. your your content You're monetized, yeah. yeah, YouTube is paying. So what is wrong if I also come and post my my nakedness or my intimate like pictures or videos to to get money? Do, do it's you, my body. Do you think that stakeholders, be it governments, schools, whatever, should take interest in promoting good uses, um, good usage of social media? I think so. But before before I we go into that question, yeah. right? It's my body. I decide what to do with it. Do you think? What what do you? Um, the, so the question I'm, I'm trying to accept those who post naked pictures they post things that had have, have um, sexual um, content and that kind of thing they say that it's their body you have they have uh, the ability to do whatever they want with their body if they are not shy of themselves why should you be shy or why should you complain if they are not hiding it so do you think they have that right because social media is there? You see, your you have the right to your account. Your account is yours. And I think these days, when you want to post um, um something like a nude or whatever, there's always that viewer description. They kind of mask it and yeah. all that. But you know, the thing is, when you see something that says, oh, viewer descriptions that we always want to actually see oh, why yeah. Charlie, that, that thing you know that human that, beings that, are born naturally to be curious you know you are going to the thing you are going to watch. so some of us who criticize we are the same people who were watched exactly. so how would they stop <laughs> I think we all, we all need to start changing to be fair because if this because trend I don't continues. think if those kind of posts get engagement they yeah, will continue to do it. Exactly. If, and if like you said, no negativity one... sells. Yeah. But the thing is, your account is yours, but the internet space is not yours. That is that, what is influencing see, so many, yeah, like majority of our youth, especially from underdeveloping countries like, like Yana. I, I don't expect any young girl to. Because on Facebook, eh, it's nasty. Like senior high school students, they'll take phones to school, which one is illegal. Yeah. They'll record themselves some twerking and all that forgetting that when you grow old the internet doesn't forget it doesn't that is forget. one thing I'm, I'm i'm very scared about the internet <sighs> doesn't forget it's it's sad when i think about and you see what hurts me yeah and why i'm so passionate about this is mm -hmm. i feel like people because the negatives are so much out there are not fully exploring the positive sides she gets it the negative stuff is so out there yeah majority of the people are more concentrated on the fun the humor aspect of social media for entertainment and they are not really amassing the the actual good things yeah for which social media was it's not all about entertainment no. it's not about fun it's not about posting yourself you can learn you yeah. can um sell something yeah there, there are so many things i think youtube apart from google youtube is a nurse search engine like there's everything you find on youtube you, yes. how to brush your teeth you can even find it there Every people have literally learned how to cold how to 
Last time start... I, I, I was learning coding on, on exactly. On YouTube. So, what what then Everything... is the point? But the the people. So my my sister will call me. My brother will call me. Yeah. Uh, I don't have. I need money for data. And you ask, what do you what do you watch when you get that data? If that person is watching an educational content, you are not bothered. But they'll go to school, they'll not, they'll not learn. They come home, you give them money for data. They'll go and they'll be they'll be listening to uh, what, WhatsApp, TikTok, TikTok, um, Instagram uh, reels, blah blah. You are not saying don't entertain yourself, but what are you learning? What what are you What's imparting yourself? What's the point exactly? With? Entertain yourself. You said all oh, work and no play make Jack a double. Yeah. So entertain yourself. But all play and no work makes Jack a stupid boy. You'll be very stupid. <laughs> like at the end of the day, you, because you'd realize that the people that you're going there, say if you're always going for fun, the people that you're always following is for you is all about fun, fun, fun. These guys are actually making money, hmm? building content, doing that. And you end up wasting huge amounts of money on data alone. Yeah. Because you want to keep up with the nonsense going on. Whereas if you are taking that same time to go onto YouTube to search how to do this or probably signed up on LinkedIn to follow people, learn about yeah. their career path or probably network with other people across different countries. I think back in the day there was pen pals. Those things were a big deal. Yeah. And now that internet exists. It's available. So, you know, uh, uh. That's, that's the paradox of society, right? In the in the midst of abundance, yeah, you you find it hard to make reasonable choices. The thing is, you you have access to the thing and you don't value it. That that is that is how human beings are created. That is how human beings are created. Anyway. It's it's hard, it's it's hard. But my main concern is yeah. what we post on social media. Yeah, as as people as as young guys, do you know people in the Western world. I don't think you should compare yourself to anybody. Just Absolutely think about your not. personal circumstance. If you mm. don't have money to defend yourself, if you can't afford to risk your reputation, there are some things you have to be careful about. There are people who don't know their destinies. There are people who don't know what they'll become in in future. Yeah. People who deliberately didn't even post their nudes online, had their images leaked, see the consequence to their career to their to their reputation to their family their friends how much more you who Bro. come out voluntarily freely effortlessly spontaneously post on social media a and you see a, a, crit a, a very good example would be though you see sometimes it's not just pictures even normal text comments about people or about a company or about and do, later do Recently, I, I learned some people where uh, someone was deported from, is it the UK or, or was imprisoned? Wow. Yeah. And someone was also sent a text. I don't know how true it is. I, I, I watched it on um, Nanel's channel yeah. that the person received a text from the home office or one of these governmental agencies in the UK that he was sending a text or he posted something and don't know how come the yeah, police got yeah, access to yeah, that. Yeah, I think I think I remember that story. So you know, you know sometimes <laughs> listen to these stories. Sometimes when we are talking on the phone and we make some jokes, which like it's just amongst us. I I I I just think to myself, what if this network operators are listening to our call? <laughs> bro, bro, but you even among friends, you are being careful. How much more you? Posting it in, in WhatsApp groups on something where everyone, millions of people Carelessness. can access it. Carelessness. Guys, we 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 are huge advocates of social media. Yeah. We, but we, we love using it. it for the right thing. Yeah. You have the right to your opinion. You can actually say your mind, say whatever is on your mind, talk your mind free. Nobody's going to beat you at the end of the day. But freedom but after it. Nobody can guarantee As you and your God. <laughs> say, freedom of speech. We can guarantee you are freedom free. after speech. Uh, that's it's not it's guaranteed. You your, it's you and your God. Yeah. So I, I think we we all, I mean, all of us are huge advocates of using social media as 
a good tool oh, yeah, to do the right thing. So, you know, don't like, cyber bully people. It affects them mentally. Yeah. If you if you go online to see something negative about yourself, it affects you. Can affect your mood, your work, yeah. all of those bits. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'm, I'm you, you wouldn't want to post <laughs> something and later go begging for it to be removed. Where exactly? When and do you know code Mickey? Uh, is, no, it's not code Mickey. Headless YouTuber. Yeah. Do you know that guy yeah. on, on YouTube? He said that. So uh, Medica posted a snippet of uh, a, a song. It's not a snippet actually. It was just a freestyle he was doing. The song was playing in the background. It's a yet to be released song, and the latter part of the song. He said, uh, if you see so so and so, tell him see. Yeah. You revive that. Yeah. Way later, he went to crop that aspect and reposted it without the latter comment. Right. And Headless Chiba said, but with the, with the uh, screenshot, as, uh, screenshot uh, association, we already this, have ah, it. We have it. There is receipts. We have that, it. You see, that's what people feel. forget it. Any negative thing or any quote-unquote stupid thing you post people immediately take receipt like yeah, people immediately we, capture it because yeah. they know that yeah someday people have lost opportunity to hold offices yeah. because of issues oh, yeah. on social media yeah people have lost job opportunities yeah. because of this people have lost partners have lost their jobs a whole lot of things because of social media mm. this same social media people have risen to higher 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 heights because of social media, yeah, gotten true. good You jobs. don't know who is watching. Met wives. Yeah. So why can't we just do the good side of it? Do you know, for some people, right, especially the young ones, those in high school, those in some village somewhere who will be posting all these, you see two young, like 13, 14 years old, then they'll be kissing, they'll be smoking and post online. For some people, right, they underestimate how far God will raise them. They don't know their destinies. Yeah. You see, because if you know, if you have self worth, if you know you can see your future, I wish that sometimes at, at a certain age, right, God will just open our eyes to see what we will become in the future. Most people would have been very careful. Yeah, absolutely. Most people would have been very so careful. So, will the reason then be that all these quote unquote cyber bullies, people who just post anything at all on there, do not have a clear direction of where their life is. Do you know, there are some people that genuinely, that is what they want to do. They care less about anything. That is why I say, if you compare, let's say there's someone in the US, he's a, he's a critic. His environment is different from you in uh, maybe, I wouldn't mention, even yeah. other parts of the world, are, apart from Africa, there are other parts of the world they are strict on some of these things. In yeah. China, in where they are, yeah. regulations on this so if you say there's someone in uk in uh, uh, us in germany or somewhere in ghana or in anywhere that is posting content spilling things yeah. on on uh, with bold chest and you want to do the same what is backing that person is different from what is backing you you know what is backing that person spiritually and physically <laughs> And pocket wise, it's different from yourself. Completely, completely different. Yeah, so you, you have to s see your circumstance. Yeah. Like, just watch your surrounding. If you don't pity yourself, even pity your, your family. Because this thing goes a long way to affect your family, your children yet unborn. I think we have to talk about this in another episode. Like, we don't consider the Generations. extent, exactly, the extent to which our current actions would be able to impact others. Do you know, I'll end this. So there was this video circulating online yeah. with, uh, about this pastor who uh, had supposedly cursed one of these uh, journalists, right? So the lady was sitting with a gentleman and they were talking about the pastor, that the pastor had done something for which the pastor said he hadn't done. And... The pastor said because the lady entertained the gentleman to speak ill against him, he cursed the lady and cursed the lady's um, children. So recently, I learned that the, the child of the, the journalist had died. And the pastor came out that, oh yeah, because you said this, I was the one who cursed the child. It could be true. It could be false. It could be for any other reason that, mm. that has happened. 
But imagine that if it's true, an innocent child who knew nothing gone has died. And the pastor went ahead to say, I'll curse your generation. So why would you do this to me if I'm why would you do this to me? Imagine my grandfather said I was going to do something and they've cursed the whole generation. In the, in, in, in the Bible, it, it happened like where these Matthias, this uh, uh, big, big prophet who have passed, they, they curse generations. Like sometimes God punishes and punishes to the fourth generation, you know. So we, we should just be careful. You shouldn't be self-centered. Think about those who come after you. Think about those who are present. Your mom, your dad. Imagine your, your mom sees your, your porn video outside. How, how would your mom feel? The things that we post, the things that we say, if your parents, those who you, you love, wouldn't be happy with it, why would you post it and think someone outside will be happy with it? So, that brings us to the end of our rant and then <laughs> our our yeah. opinions, our yeah. unsolicited opinions, but it's, it's but good. Yeah, I think yeah, at least we've had yeah. something good to talk about. Yeah. So guys, you can leave your comments in the what you think. Feel free to share this content. If the first time you're watching us, please do well to subscribe. And to our returning subscribers, we can't thank you enough. And um, please, we'll, we'll appreciate it if you follow us on our, our, our social media handles, yeah. on Facebook, on um, X, on Instagram, on yeah. Threads, on TikTok. We, we are, are everywhere. We are almost everywhere. As, yeah. as we are talking about social media, we are bringing the good stuff yeah. to, to everyone. Comments, yeah. send us your thoughts. We've got a WhatsApp link that in our, in in our description. description. Yeah. 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 So on, the, on the main follow. page. Yeah. yeah. So you can just join through the, the WhatsApp. Just post something, any content, anything you want us to discuss. If you've got any recommendations, anything you want us to change, if you want to help us with something, just. Yeah. Join the group and then share your opinions. We would really appreciate it. Thank yeah. you so much. And thank then you. See you. Say bless. In the next episode.